Well, and I, yeah. in the last few weeks or so, we've been talking about victory and the way to victory. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I need to hear y'all. Amen. You know what? Yeah. The tricks of the devil is to shut us up. That's, right. That's what he desires, to Amen. shut us up. Um, get us not to declare the word of God. Thank get you. us not to speak truth, Amen. but to get us to run. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. With yeah. our Amen. mouth. Run yeah. with our mouth. Yeah. The, you know, one of the hardest things to do is get people to come out to pray. Yeah. Yeah. Prayer is one of the mightiest weapons. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 But uh, how do we be honest and admit they don't pray enough? Amen. 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 See, that's the enemy. Because you can pray while you're taking a shower. That's it. While you're on the toilet. Come on, yeah. Come on. It doesn't matter. While you're driving, while you're sitting, even while you're eating, you can stop and begin to have a prayer. You know, one of the greatest weapons is prayer. And he has stolen that from the church. We don't pray enough. Amen? Amen. Uh, I want to get right into this. I'm not going to be before you long. But it is going to be a strong word. Right. Amen. And Amen. if Amen. there was a title, it would be Keys to Success. Amen. Somebody say, somebody say to somebody else, do you want to succeed in life? Do you want to succeed in life? Yeah. yeah. And this is going to be for a few weeks. Here lately, that's what God has been doing. And I apologize. We're going to get it together. I should have told you... Um, by text. So I'm going to get it together. A lot of times here lately, we're not here. And so I need to make sure that video ministry, but well, we're going to be um, in 1 Samuel. Amen. Thank you. 1 Samuel Amen. 16. And you, 1 through 13. So I don't need you to go there yet, okay? We're going to be, okay? Amen. Amen. We're going to be talking about the life of David. Amen. Amen. Uh, David was a very, very, very successful king. Uh -huh. Amen. And Amen. of course, there were unsuccessful things going on. But we're going to focus on David's life, mostly right now in the, the beginning. So uh, let's see, where do I want to start? There's so much good stuff. Um, because the reason I wanted them to play that... Uh, song is because in order to be successful you've got to know you may be seated, you got to know how to defeat the giants. Yeah, exactly. The giants are not going to stop uh -huh. until you die. Amen. Yeah. Right. There's always going to be giants. Amen. There's always going to be storms. There's always going to be problems. Yeah, um, yeah, to get yeah, to the point on. where you get mature. Amen. Yeah. And you understand that life is like a roller coaster. Uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. And if you're um, not strapped in with a belt of faith, it's going to be very difficult yeah. for you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 I got to hear y'all. Amen. 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 See, the devil is shutting down the church. Yes. You know, we've gotten either too cute, too embarrassed, too low self esteem. Whatever you want to call it, these demons have shut down the church. Because if I took you to a game, even for a sport you didn't like, eventually you'd be yelling something. Uh, come on, man, that's right. That's right. Don't want it. That ain't right. Yeah, that's right. But then we come in the church, and we're dead quiet. We're uh, cute. Uh, you know, come on now, come on, Pat. You know, or I've worked all day. Well, I've worked, had meetings, and ran all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's not going to shut me down. Amen. Okay, my mouth, the Bible says it's a ready writer. All right. And I'm going to write my future by the words coming out of my mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, well, I thought it. That doesn't get it. Uh -huh. The Bible specifically teaches us. We got to say something. Yes. Yes. Come on, say something. Amen. 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 So we're going to start this series by talking about David's life in the beginning. 
Amen. Amen. All right. So in the beginning of David's life, which is 1 Samuel 16. Amen. Let's go to verse 1 and move on from there. Uh, video ministry. I know y'all can handle it. Uh, David. David was a young man uh, who was faithful. Go to 1 Samuel 13, 14. I'm going to be jumping all over the place. Amen. David was a, a young man. He was faithful in his youth. Uh -huh. A lot of times we ignore them or, you know, going to push them to the side. Yeah, yeah. But David proved himself worthy to be a king when he was a kid. Yeah. Did y'all hear me? Amen. He proved himself worthy when he was a kid. Amen. A kid like that. And because, because he had, is that 13, 14? What am I doing wrong? God bless me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Go to 1 Samuel 16, 13, and 14. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He was a young man who was faithful to his father. And faithful to God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Most people know that uh, David was sent out in the field uh -huh. to do the dirty work. Yeah. Okay, that's not 16. First Samuel 16, verses 13 and 14. Thank you. Lord. Amen. See, I know this is going to be an awesome series because the enemy is acting stupid. Okay? But David, that's why you got to study. That's right. You know, because you study, you don't need no screen. Amen. Okay? If you study. I'm not a huck and butt preacher, and I don't believe it in any way. I believe that the body of Christ needs to sit its happy hips yeah. down and learn of him. Right. He right. said, come learn of me. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Most of you know that David was a young man at that, um, go up a little more, baby. Thank Try you. 11. Thank you. Um, Thank you. That was in the woods. His father, Jesse, had assigned him to the sheep. Amen. When you were the youngest, you were considered the, uh, the least important. Now, oldest, who was being trained to take over their father's position, uh, yeah. was the important one. Yeah. So, yeah. the young, youngest one in their family uh, was the grunt. Uh -huh. Okay? Yeah. That's what he was. He was the goat. You know, he did, that one did the dirty work. Remember yeah. that and go to Matthew 25, 21. Thank you, Father. And the Bible tells us that David was faithful to his father and to God. Amen. He was so faithful. You know how you send your kids to do something and they're coming back in the house 50 million times yeah. to ask questions. Yeah. Uh -huh. Did you mean for me? What did you mean? What did you say, Mama? Uh, David didn't do that. Uh -huh. David was assigned to care for his father's sheep, yeah. and that's what he did. Yeah. And he stayed out there. Yeah. That's yeah. It. He did. And the Bible says he made a statement one time, I fought a lion and a bear. Yeah. Now, I want to talk right here. Um, David was left out there by himself. Uh -huh. He was in the woods. Yeah. Okay, with lions and bears and all kinds of animals. Yeah. He was in training. Uh -huh. Y'all don't hear me. Uh -huh. He was in training yeah. for what God was going to call him to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. Do y'all hear me? Yeah. yeah. When you're in training, God will start very early in your life. I can look back on my life. And I understand a lot of things now. All 
right? Yeah. That's right. Okay. All right. I went to private school. My sister and I were the only blacks in this school. <coughs> I believe I went through private school because God was preparing me for such a time as this. Amen. So he wanted me to experience that so what I would have something to relate to. Of course, I didn't know the business side, but I knew the student side. Right. Oh, y'all don't hear oh, me. Yeah. Come on, so even though back then I may not have understood it or liked it, I was in training. Uh, Bishop, when he was a boy, like them, during the summer, he had to go with his father to work. And his father was a contractor. And they would tear down buildings. Y'all don't hear me. They would tear down buildings. And then he would have to sit in a hot summer sun and knock off all the cement on the bricks because dad was going to resell them. Uh, little Ellis didn't know. But God was preparing him for this. Amen. That's right. Is anybody with yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So God, in his wisdom, uh -huh. for you young people, starts from birth to adulthood to yeah. try to That's prepare right. us. And I have to say try. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Because That's we right. have free will. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. We have free will. Amen. Yes, we do. And so, from birth to David is now probably about 15 or 16, maybe a little younger. And he is now old enough that he has killed a lion and he has killed a bear. Uh -huh. What does that have to do with preparing? The process for David was preparing him to teach him to protect the sheep. Amen. Amen. Jesus Amen. says the body is the young yes. Yes. The body is the sheep. Yes. And so to prepare him to be a leader, he had to be in the background yes. working yes. and fighting yes. and left by himself yes. because he was in training. Yes. Yes. When, when fighters are going, Muhammad Ali, whoever, who's the guy that burns money now? Mayweather. Mayweather. Uh, when they're getting ready for a fight, they go on the back side. Uh -huh. They don't have their wife or their girlfriend. Right. They have to eat specific. They're totally pulled away That's from right. the normal, commonplace right. environment. Right. Amen. So when God is trying to do something big or great in, your, in our lives, he puts us on the backside of the mountain. Yes. Yes. This ministry has been on the back side of the mountain. Amen. Um, and while you're on the back side, if you don't know that God is creating something awesome Amen. on the back side, you will get discouraged. Yeah. And most Christians never complete their process. Right. Right. And so they're almost like this. The other day we took the students to see a raisin and his son downtown a live Broadway production. And um, when we were finished, I was walking back to the truck to get in with Bishop, and all of a sudden I felt something in my foot. So instead of walking like this, I started walking like uh -huh. Y'all don't get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When you don't complete the process, you may be end up being but you're not walking right. Come on, okay. Come on, come on. Come on, bro. You're not living right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because you never went through the process. Amen. Mm -hmm. I, I preached two or three, I don't know when, ago about the circumcising of our heart. Uh -huh. Our heart has to be circumcised along the way. Uh, we're going back in women's fellowship we read a book a few years ago, and we're going to do it again, and it's called Hind's Feet for High yes. Place. Yes. And much afraid had to climb the mountain yes, to get to, to the Good Shepherd. Uh -huh. And for her, going up that mountain, and for us, there were cuts, 
grapes, grapes. Uh -huh. But when you get to the end of the book, even the grapes have, because she was deformed, the grapes have put her body, her bones, her structure, her, her, she's gone through circumcised. Amen. 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 And at every level, she asks, what well, we ask, where is God? Uh -huh. Where is, where is the good shepherd? Uh -huh. And there's God at each level who says, you'll see him. Yeah. You'll see him. All right, you just got to go through the process. Yes. Amen. Yeah. You know, yeah. We got to go up to God. Yes. You know, I can't say God won't come down because he came down in the form of his son. Yeah. But when you are headed for success, That's right. um, real success, yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about naturally, spiritually first, and then naturally. Amen. When you are headed for real success, you're going to have to climb the mountain. Yes. Yes. Now, yes. nobody likes it, Amen. but at least God said to me, if they understand what I am trying to do, and God's always trying. You can't say he's going to do it because we all have free will. Yeah. We have to choose who we will serve. Um, are we going to do what's right before God or are we going to do what's right before our, for ourselves? And it always feels good when we do what's right for ourselves. But it's a price afterwards. And usually you slide down that mountain and you have to start all over again. Yeah. Because self is an enemy. Yeah. Yeah. And self, you can't be in self and be in God. That's it. Yeah. You can't. I know people think they can, but you cannot. Yeah. Either you rebuke self, yeah. self, yeah. and say, nevertheless, I'm going to serve God. Yeah. Or you serve self. There's yeah. no warm water. Jesus said you either hot or cold. Yeah. If you're lukewarm, I'll spit you out. Yeah. And by lukewarm, he means you're compromised. Yeah. You know, anybody who does reasoning in their mind and justifying yeah. is compromised. Yeah. Yeah. Because see, it's it's just as simple. You either write them off. That's it. Yeah, there's no but I in it. You either right or wrong. And let me tell you something going to blow your mind. You, Those of you that are going to be successful. You, it ain't about who's right or wrong. Amen. As a person. Right. Okay? Amen. It's about is God right in this. Amen. I need to say that again. Amen. And it's not about right or wrong as a human being. Because see, when we do that, Get, get on the board. When we do that, we hurt ourselves. Because see, that's flesh. That's Amen. self. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. And when you, you gonna, you gonna be right regardless. Yeah. You know, have you ever met people like that? Even yeah. though they wrong, yeah. they gonna explain to you uh -huh. why, why yeah. they ain't yeah. really Amen. wrong. Amen. Uh -huh. That is the devil. Right. Okay. Yeah, let me let me explain to you why I did what I did, Pastor. I know right away I'm talking to a demon. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm talking to flesh. Uh -huh. Because Jesus said, be quick to repent. Uh -huh. So even if you don't think you're wrong, especially somebody in authority, uh -huh. if they say they're, you're wrong, just be wrong. Uh -huh. What does it hurt us to humble ourselves? That's right. Amen. What is what you know what it hurts? Self. You bless me today. Because you felt yourself going somewhere and reach out for help. That's not something you do. See, that's growth. See, we don't see growth the way God measures growth. Amen. Come on, come on. Okay? We don't. We don't see growth. The way God sees growth. Yeah, yeah. God sees nothing like we do. Right. Absolutely right. not. He said, your thoughts ain't mine. Right. Your ways ain't mine. Right. So he don't see nothing like we do. David was faithful. Yeah. Yeah. His daddy said, stay in the woods. Uh -huh. He stayed in the woods. Yeah. He 
can you imagine a boy fighting a lion, fighting a bear to protect daddy's sheep? See, by doing that, by being faithful with what he was called to do, he showed God he could be king. Yeah. Well done, that good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. I don't need this second part. Because until we become servants, David was a servant. Amen. David didn't make excuses, whine to his dad. <coughs> David was such a servant that they forgot about him. See, when you're faithful, yeah. I don't have to look for you. Amen. Amen. I don't even have to take a second thought. I know you gonna be there. Amen. I ain't even gotta worry about it. That's it. Amen. Okay? Amen. I know on Monday night, for example, accounting is gonna count. Right. Amen. I I don't have a second thought. In fact, I don't even check is counting here. Uh. Amen. Are they doing what they're supposed to do? Amen. Now, you do have to check and say who came to church. Because yeah. y'all aren't faithful. No, you go back to the door and you come yes. to them. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You should handle that. Amen. But we're, you know what? We're in suffership <coughs> and we thank God for you driving. Yeah. We thank God Amen. for it. Because nobody else would do it or they would have said so. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So Amen. don't let the devil get in your head. Yeah. Okay? Amen. When, and thank God we are in a position that somebody took over that's supposed to be on the door and it. Amen. Um, Amen. That's a generational blessing in her family. Yes. Should have been doing it for years. Yes. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not rebuking. I'm trying to teach you Amen. that if you are a faithful servant, a whole lot of things ain't coming your way. Amen. Does anybody hear me? Anybody want to be successful? Amen. You really do? Okay, then you got to be faithful. And faithful over a few, say it, a few things. See, we living in a time where everybody wants to be recognized, everybody wants money, everybody wants pat on the back. David didn't get anything. In fact, what David got was ignored. Uh, look at one of them out in the woods. They've got about it. You know, he out there in the nasty, you come out the woods, you stink. Uh -huh. He out in the nasty, filthy woods, which, and she, you talking about something stink. Yeah. <laughs> you need to go to the fair and go in the tent where the sheep are. That's all funny. I thought pigs stink, but sheep stink. Hello? Jesus called you what? Sheep. Mm -hmm. yeah, what is sheep. Jesus called you what? Sheep. Jesus called you what? Sheep. Because he knew you were going to stink. Amen. Amen. He knew you were going to stink. He knew you were going to want. Amen. Amen. Everybody can't be in charge. Amen. 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 Everyone. You can't. Amen. Paul even talked about many members for one body. Talked about how everybody can't do everything. Yeah. Like I just said, this friend should have been on the door years ago. That, that's one of her gifting. Her mother was a usher, Amen. a good usher, yeah. great usher, Amen. and her grandmother. My Lord, yeah. Yeah. So she needs to get in position. Amen. So God is. Shh. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. David, I'm driving this home because yes. I want you to get it, was a faithful servant. Yes. Yes. So David, go back to where you were in Samuel. 
David is out in the woods yes. with the lions and the bears and the wolves, the possums, the squirrels. He living out there, y'all. Y'all yeah. remember when we went to sit and feed the homeless in the woods, yeah. living in the tent? David didn't have no tent. Why no tent paid? Couldn't go over to Walmart and get a tent. So he probably made something out of what he had to learn self survival skills. That's why when the war happens and he's king and he's away and Ziglag is attacked and the wives, the women, and children are taken, the Bible says, Dave, the people talk about killing him. See, whenever you are a leader, you got to understand, as long as things are going good, everybody with you. But sooner or later, a giant going to come. And next thing you know, your members are on Facebook and Twitter and the three-way on the phone okay. talking about you. They were talking about stoning David, but nowadays you ain't got to stone nobody to kill him. All you got to do is run your mouth. And you don't know what you're talking about on social media and on the helophone. Instead of praying, you pray it. And the people said, we're going to kill David because uh -huh. he wasn't here. Because he was all fighting for you uh -huh. somewhere else. Uh -huh. They forgot that because self, That's right. you weren't here and we uh -huh. came under attack. Uh -huh. Heck with them. We uh -huh. came under attack. And you are members doing. People uh -huh. around you are doing. You weren't there for me. You was there for my sister uh -huh. all our life. You was there Thank for my you, brother. Lord. All my Thank life, you, but you weren't there for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Right. Pastor, pastor didn't pay no attention yeah. to me. Pastor yeah. pay attention to everybody else, but pastor don't pay no attention to me. Uh -huh. Oh, y'all might as well say amen. Amen. Say amen again. Amen. Say amen again. Amen. Because you ain't amen and as good as I'm teaching. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because it's all about me, 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 me. Everybody do that. Me, 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 me. me. Yeah. For me. Sad me. Don't nobody understand me. Oh, me. Oh, me. So they said, we're going to kill the king. We're going to kill him. Jesus. He's left me, 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 me. Come on, do it. Me, 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 And now our enemies have taken our wives and our children and, and burnt down our homes. You should have been here for me, 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 me. me. Yeah. And what does David do? The Bible says David encouraged Himself yes, he did. in the Lord. Yes, he yeah. did. In the Lord. Amen. Why? Because he had already experienced it on the backwoods where he had to keep himself. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, God is preparing him to lead. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. got to fight animals. He's got to make a way for himself to be out of the rain and the cold. We talking about summer, winter, spring, fall. So much so that when, and, and look, don't pay no attention to that. Because if everybody did what they supposed to do, I wouldn't have it. So I'm going to fix that. Amen. 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 But if the devil thinks he going to use people, places, or things to hinder what I'm teaching. Hey, hey, See, I've been on the back. Yeah. I've been on the backwoods and I've been faithful yeah. over yeah. a few things. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a little thing. Because yeah. Bishop and I preach with no microphone. Yeah, right. yeah. Bishop and I yeah. preach with a karaoke mic. Oh, yeah. 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 karaoke yeah. mic. <laughs> Yeah. That's why whoever comes is blessed. Whoever don't come, who cares? 
Amen. Because Bishop and I have been on the backside. Yeah. Amen. And we preached empty chairs. Uh -huh. And he walked empty chairs. That's right. Amen. That's right. Yeah. It, it's, yeah. See, you got to be on the backside to be on the front side yes. with yes. God. That's yes. right. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. If you can't be a faithful servant, you're going to be a lousy leader. Right. Amen. Let me say that again. If you can't be a faithful servant, you're going to be a lousy leader. Remember, Elijah had Gehazi for his assistant. Gehazi was always a little... And in the end, Gehazi lies on his pastor. It says... My master said for you to give me the money. Uh -huh. Now Elijah told the man, I don't want God told Elijah, don't take no money from me. Because uh -huh. the great leader got healed. Elijah yeah. told him to go dip seven times in the River Jordan. Uh -huh. The River Jordan was where they do their feces, their doo-doo, their urine, uh -huh. their trash, their garbage. And he felt like he was too good, like some of y'all. Uh -huh. yeah. Too good to do that. Uh -huh. Jesus. Good to do that. I'm not doing that. And his servant, here we go again. Uh -huh. His servant said, You got cancer, skin cancer. You dying. Uh -huh. What difference do it make? Jesus. Uh -huh. Just just Amen. try it. Uh -huh. What you got to lose? Uh -huh. And of course he gets healed when he obeys Elijah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So he wants to give Elijah some money. And God says, don't take the money. Because God wants the glory. Amen. Amen. Right. Don't give it to Elijah. God wants the glory. Amen. So, you hate someone after the man alive. Yeah. Mm. My, my master said for you to give him the money. He changed Jesus. his mind. Jesus. Uh -huh. And he brings somebody high to the course. Elijah know what he done done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's banned and he loses everything. We don't hear any more about him. He's marked by God. Jesus. He's lied on a pastor, an elder, a prophet. Mm -hmm. His life is cursed. Yeah. Yeah. But Elisha, Elijah's walking down the road. He said, hey, you. Yeah. Come follow me. And Elijah said, Look, um, Elijah said, Can I go tell my mom that? He said, No. Just come on. Uh -huh. And he went. He was there for 80 years. Uh -huh. mm. I got Washing Elijah's feet, cooking Elijah food, carrying his scrolls everywhere Elijah went, Elijah went. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. He was faithful. Yeah. Yeah. He was a faithful yeah. servant. He was a faithful yeah. servant. Yeah. So much so that when Elijah is going out, he says, how can I bless you? You've been faithful to me. He said, I want a double portion of you. Mm -hmm. Elijah said, you asked for a hard thing. <laughs> he wasn't saying it was hard for God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was saying, you asked him for a hard life. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus. You have no understanding of what this costs. Yeah. Jesus. But Elijah goes up and the robe falls off Elijah on Elijah. Yeah. And he has the double portion because the axe falls in the water. And he speaks to it and the axe comes up and comes to him. And the school of prophets say, oh, he got it. But before that, the Bible says they talked about him like a dog. Yeah. You are a little puppy dog. Every Elijah go there. Whatever Elijah yeah. tell you to. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, Elijah. Yes, you just brown those and kissing up to Elijah yeah. all the time. But in the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 This God who began mm -hmm. is faithful yeah. to complete. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But he's a rewarder yeah. of them that diligently yeah. seek him. Yes. 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 So Jesse, Samuel, I'm sorry, Jesse, the father of David, meets up with Samuel, the prophet, 
who has heard from God, go down to Bethlehem. We're going to anoint the next king. Because now Saul has sinned. Yeah. Now, what's the difference in a Saul and a David? Because we all know later on David sinned. Yeah. Yeah. But the Bible teaches David was quick to repent Amen. when he came to himself. Yeah. Yeah. Now, he needed the prophet to come to him, Nathan, and say, what would you do with a man who had everything and took something from somebody? that only have one, talk about a sheep. He said, I'd have him killed, I'd have him slaughtered. He said, you the one. David comes to himself. Yeah. See, sometimes you get so far out there, you don't see yourself. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Homeless people, they don't smell themselves. No, they don't. No. <laughs> see, he called us sheep. Because she stink, and our sin stinks oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. in the nostrils of God. Oh, yeah. And you know what? Get off of the homosexual, the lesbian, the drunk, right. the drug addict, and the prostitute. Sin is sin. Yeah. So when you stubborn as a mule, yeah. when you refuse to repent, yeah. when you cover it so jealous yeah. of somebody yeah. else's yeah. stuff, yeah. and here go a big one, when you don't do your assignment for God in this house, yeah. Yeah. you sin it. Oh, amen. amen. Yeah. And you don't even see it because you don't smell yourself. Amen. 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 You don't smell yourself. Amen. You don't smell yourself. Amen. Amen. I don't hear you. Amen. Everybody. Amen. Samuel sneaks in because he is a great prophet. He's one of the major prophets. There are major prophets and there are minor prophets. Amen. All right now. And he sneaks in quietly, and God gives him a reason. Because everybody's expecting him to hold court. So everybody's a little like, oh, like it used to be in the body of Christ. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a prophet in town. He'd be like, I ain't going up in there. For them to read me. Jesus. So he said, well, I've come for a time of consecration, which is sanctifying yourself, fasting yeah. and praying. And so he he tells them, that's why I'm here. I'm not here to judgment or bring judgment on anybody. It's cool. And and he God gives him a cool way. He says, invite Jesse to the consecration service. So when he invites Jesse to the consecration service, Jesse invites him to his house. Hey, uh -huh. God is awesome. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. And he lines up. He says, how many sons you got, Jesse? He got seven sons. He lines them up. And Samuel starts with the oldest, Alibi. Uh -huh. And he says, that's, that's going to be, you know, this is going to be short stuff. Because remember I told you, the oldest, is, is automatically mm -hmm. supposed to go. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he gets, come in. He, come in. He gets to him and he looks at him. The Bible says he's handsome, mm -hmm. he's tall, and he's, and he's handsome. And Samuel's getting his oil, getting it ready, pouring it in the horn, getting ready. And God says, he ain't the one. He ain't the yeah. one. So Thank then he Lord. goes, God Thank bless you, you Pastor. Thank you, Lord. Let's stand for Pastor. God bless you. Yeah. Tell Bishop she's here. Thank He'll you, keep Lord. on just show out. Thank you, Lord. You may be seated. Amen. And so I'm I'm shocked, so I'm kind of like oh. So Jesse is going to anoint the oldest son, and God says no. Now, see, right here we need to stop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because what people do is, that's the tradition of men. Amen. Right. The oldest son got to be the one. 
that God wants to be king, right? right. I right. mean, that's the way we do things. See, in the body of Christ, we'll say quick, well, we always done it that way. Uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. Uh, when, when God, I hope this doesn't happen, because we try to prepare y'all. But when we go off, go off to glory, that's why we put what we put on the side. I ain't talking about Cynthia and nothing. I'm going to see Billy Graham later. I'm yeah. determined I'm, I'm going. Yeah. All right. Amen. All right? Yeah, right. They, they showed a thing on TV where he said, if somebody tell you I'm dead, tell them they're a liar. Because <laughs> I will not die Come on, but yeah. live. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. If he don't make it, we could just cut this close <laughs> up. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> And I'm sure he was human. I'm That's sure right. he had something right. he had, God had to work on with yeah, him. Come on, yeah. But that man got thousands saved. Yes, yes. Yes. Thousands. Yes. Thousands. Yes. thousands. Yes. We right. should always testify about him. Yeah. Yes. A great, we have lost someone great, great. in yeah. urban. I think it's a sign. Yeah. For me, it's a sign. There are things that are just winding down. Yeah. Winding up. So, Samuel goes through every single son. See, you cannot base your life on what we've always done. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I got saved in the grand old church of God in Christ. And I thank God for that. I'm not making fun of it. I'm not putting That's it down. Right. That's right. And I got the Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, come, Calvin. Come, come, come. Quick, 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 quick. Get down here. Get down. Pray. Like you pray. The blood. The blood of Jesus. Oh, yes. The yes. blood of Jesus. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah. Say, say, Jesus, Jesus, oh, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Calvin. Oh. Yeah. I got that. That's right. That's right. Uh -huh. They did what they knew. Right. They, did they did what they knew. Yeah. Yes. yes. And right. God honored. Yeah. Thank the yeah. Lord. Yeah. You know, we don't need to make fun of it. That's right. That's right. Uh, I've had churches now that want to make fun of the chicken dinners of the church used to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you got restaurants in in your church. Yeah. Right. And you so, the books and tapes. And chicken dinner, right? I mean, what, what's hey, the difference? Hey, what's the difference? Because it's going to look all fixed up like a restaurant. Jesus. What? If, I'm asking you, what's right, the difference? Right, right, right. See, difference. that's why I teach y'all keep your mouth shut. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. Amen. Yeah. I don't care if they got them on 6, 8, 12, 35, 65, BT, and they talk about it like a dog. You better shut up. Amen. 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 God is That's the right. judge of a man or woman of God. Amen. Amen. A leader in the body. That's, That's right. right. A pastor. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then he tells us, if we don't do this right, there is going to be blood. The blood Amen. of the That's saint right. yes. on our hand. Yes. People Amen. have left God because you didn't do what you were supposed to do. Right. Right. People Lord. send and went to hell because you didn't tell them what you were supposed Lord. to tell them. Yes. Pastor South's not living right. And, and people follow and say, well, Pastor, I've had people recently. One young lady that was the girlfriend to a very well-to-do pastor in this city, mm -hmm. along with several other girlfriends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She could tell me where Shaco slip, they hang out, and if you don't believe me, pastor, you meet me there, I'll show you. Mm -hmm. I got Jesus. You. The blood. Yeah. Yeah. You can't go around hurting people. See, yeah, the word says God so loved the, the world. world. The what? The world. No, the church. The world. No, the church. The world. He loved the sinner. Yeah. The world. Amen. And when you go around hurting them, uh -huh. that's yeah. it. That's oh it. Yeah. So all of Jesse's boys are now lined up. They all waiting to be called the next king. Yeah. Mm. And and I can see Sam. He's, 
I know God sent me here because I didn't even want to come down to Bethlehem. <laughs> I know that right. And he told me I was going to end up with Jesse, and he smoothed that thing, boy. And Jesse invited me over, and here I am, and I got my oil, and they would pour oil in the horn yeah. and pour it. Every child he went to, come here. Okay. You two, come in. You come in. Quick, quick. You got to be the one because you next to the oldest. Well, you next to next to the oldest. You the one. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure he got to the seventh child. <laughs> and the Bible said, God said, No. It's oh, Jesus. That's it. Jesus. Yeah. See, our way of yeah. doing things is not God's way yeah. of doing things. Uh -huh. It is not God's way. Yeah, bro. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's it. See, I know the enemy trying to distract me Come on, because yeah. I know, I know, y'all are going to learn the keys to That's success. It. That's Thank right. you, Lord. What you did today was apply what you've learned. All right. Yeah. All right. See, because all of us face a time mm -hmm. where we are, both of y'all come out, one of y'all got a spirit on you. Come out. <coughs> All of us going to face a time mm -hmm. yeah. of adversity, the giants. Yeah. Yeah. They coming. Yeah. Yeah. All you got to do is keep living. That's yeah. right. That's right. Bishop said his father told him, keep living, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just right. keep living. Right. Right. Roller coaster yeah. ride, yeah. and it going to get rough, boy. Yeah. You upside down. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. How am I? Oh, God. See, all of those feelings Amen. and emotions come. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yes, they do. Yes. But if you've been on the back side of the mountain, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and yeah. you've proven yourself, yeah. put that back up, Matthew, That's in right. a few things. That's right. It says he'll bless you with many things. Yeah. 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 Serving, faithful. Yeah. yeah. David was a faithful servant. Yes. So much so, his own family forgot about him. Uh -huh. Jesus. Jesus. I got you. Let me tell you something. Joseph's family tried to kill him. Yes. Yes. So, yes. a lot of his wife lied on him and, and accused him of one of the worst things you can accuse a man of. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. He goes to prison. And the wine servant, and the beg they forget all about it. Yeah. They promise him when they get out, we we gonna remember you to the king. I don't wow. remember nothing. Yeah. I'm out. Remember what I said? Me, me, me come on. Me, 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 the next level. The next level. The next level. Yeah. You know now people say next uh, new level, next level, new devil. That's kind of not true. Because the Bible says there's Bible nothing day. new oh, under yes. the sun. Okay? But it is new to you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because yeah. you never been at that level. You've never right. been going. That's You're right. not there yet. Yeah. Amen. But going to the next level. Yeah. You have a perfect testimony in this ministry. We had about 25, 30 people in the house. We got down to zero here. And you know what the evil said? The accuser of the brethren said, y'all didn't hear God. Because if it was God, he would have gave you a church building instead of a dump. This the best your God can do. People, pastors came. Call Bishop a fool to his face. 
People laughed. Said we were crazy. We were, this ain't never gonna be nothing. But if you be faithful, faithful. over a few things, I will make thee ruler over many, many, many things. Many many things. things. See, servanthood is a seed that grows. Amen. It's like the daylilies out there I plant. I love daylilies. Every year I get more and more and more, and I'm taking them with us. Every year. There's 10 or 20 more in that one, off of that one bulb in the ground. Amen. They just Amen. keep multiplying and multiplying. I don't do nothing to them. Honestly, I don't. I don't water them. Isn't that what the word said? Consider the lilies of the field. Yeah. See, those are lilies. They call day lilies. I don't do nothing. They multiply. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you how to get the spirit of multiplication in your life. And you got the perfect examples before you. Amen. Amen. I call it the David anointing. Amen. You got to be on the backside for years. <coughs> Suffering. Alone. Scat. I can remember year after year we slept in the cold. I remember month after month, there was no food in our refrigerator. Only good thing about that, it stayed clean. <laughs> I can see it right now in my mind's eyes, and you'd open the light was on. <laughs> it smelled good and looked good, because there wasn't no food in it. <laughs> wasn't nothing to spill or melt or nothing. <clears throat> and about a month after not having nothing to eat, I don't know where the money came from because we were willing. Here's another secret key. Y'all should be taking note. Thank you for taking Amen. note. Yes. Faithful and servant, okay? Then somebody gave us a few dollars. We had a roasted chicken and a bag of vegetables. Mm -hmm. And we were going to eat, and I don't even like green peas. But then I see that bag, it was a white bag, and it had mixed vegetables. And I was excited as, you know when you, you want to fast? Yeah. Yeah. How bad you want a hamburger or a steak or french fries? You know, that's the way we were. Woo! And one of the members called. Called Adam, he was fasting in. He said, I don't have no food tonight to feed my family. <laughs> yeah. It's funny now. Yeah. 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 And I am sure that God is doing this. Yeah. Okay. Wonder how they're going to choose. Are they really ready to be a leader? Amen. And I heard Pastor say, Son, I got something here at the house. Come on and get Jesus. Dinner was gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jesus. Dinner was gone, y'all. The house was cold for Christmas. Gave each other a kiss, put an electric heater in the bedroom and got under two or three legs. But it was warm. Here was kerosene heaters, but they were full and they were warm. And we preached. Nobody knew. We preached. We didn't go to another man. We didn't go to another woman. We said, God will provide. Amen. And we did Christmas service and went home and got under the blanket. And a Christmas present was kiss each other. He watched the game and I slept or read a book. But we did not complain. That's right. Y'all right. didn't hear me. Amen. Amen. We did not complain. We didn't understand it all. I'm telling you the truth. Didn't understand and did not like it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. See, preachers <laughs> preach like, yeah, we went through and we praised God and no, we did not. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I 
going to tell you that lie. See, because then when it's your turn to go through, uh, you're going to think you ain't miss, making a mark because yeah. you like, go. That's yeah. right. That's true. We had the lights turned off. We got to pay a quick notice every month. And right before we're trying to go to court, God give us the money to pay the bill. Thank you, Lord. Wait. Wait. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Had to wait. Because yeah. every dime, we were both working, making good money. But it's all in here somewhere. Uh -huh. That's right. Uh -huh. See you then. And there's no encouragement. Nobody's coming and saying, just keep doing what you're doing and uh -huh. God gonna bless you. Uh -huh. We would go months. And all we would hear was discouragement. That ain't gonna be nothing. Y'all ain't never gonna be nothing. That ain't gonna be nothing. Y'all crazy. Mm -hmm. I remember though, one time, we had went and got these lights from a well, Somebody told Bishop, who was pastor then, about a grocery store that was shutting down. And they had taken the lights down. They wanted to know if anybody wanted them. How many know that was God? Yeah. yeah. That's right. But they weren't going to deliver them. Uh -huh. And no one stalled. Uh -huh. Grocery store was closed. We had to go get them. Yep. Bishop and I. And they had this hood effect on them that was this yeah. metal. And it cut your hand yeah. on the yeah. edge. Uh -huh. Everybody done that. It's up to Bishop and I to go get them. Uh -huh. We got a picture of them lined up on the wall. Y'all seen it yeah. at yeah. anniversary time. Then Bishop made his own scaffold out of wood. Put him up there. And then one day he said to me, I'm going up here and I'm going to run these lights. I need you to be down here praying in the spirit because I don't know what I'm doing. Jesus. The backside. Somebody said the backside. The backside. And while he was up there and he twirling, he yelled something down. Two ladies, Doris Page and Evangelist Lacey Lynch. Lynch, walked in. Well, there wasn't no door. It was a curtain. Yeah, it was a curtain. And they stood right about over there. And it was like two and They said, the Lord told us to find y'all. Right. They were way across town. And they said, we was praying and talking about y'all. And we had, we took a minute, but we found y'all. Mm -hmm. And they came in through the curtain next time. Oh, look at this. Praise God. And I'm yelling upstairs to him, you need to come down. What? I'm trying to come down. I know that's right. <laughs> and they walking around and they smiling. They said, oh, I see it. I see the vision. I see God. And I tell you, we both cried. They had a word of encouragement. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, they were way across the table. Don't y'all worry about it. Uh -huh. God gonna fix this up. Uh -huh. And he's done just what he said. Right. Yeah. 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 Thank you, God. Amen. Right. In the house, we had to bake the chair on yeah. the back side. Yeah. Yes. Bake except my husband, I saw beg for chairs to have service in there. And we kept getting a no, kept getting a no, kept getting a no, kept getting a no. Mm -hmm. Finally, a woman passed and gave us chairs, and they was broken. But we were humble. Yeah. We were glad to get them. See, God watching every yeah, step. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was watching with the bag of vegetables. Right. Mm -hmm. He watching with them chairs. Yeah. He watching when members said, this ain't going to be nothing, and walked out. He watched. Because yeah. if you be faithful over, yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. 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 We were given these, we had to clean them up, they were filthy. People complain, that's a hard seat. I don't like it, it's cold in here. We come down <laughs> three o'clock in the morning. And like the kerosene heaters, 
good how we don't want y'all to feel sorry for us. That's right. I'm telling you how to be successful. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know on television they got a whole lot. And that's another thing. When the Bible goes from chapter to chapter, do you understand many, many years have passed? That's right. That's right. Amen. Uh -huh. It ain't like we do turn a page. Pay, oh. pay, that's right. What, what was his name? Uh -huh. Oh, but no. Uh -huh. We don't know how long David was out there. Amen. Amen. That's so true. On that hard ground. Yeah, man. And God, and God is watching the members. Yes, yeah. Are they going to yeah. sit on the chairs and not complain? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are they going to not complain after we done scrubbed the cement floor ten times and the mop still black? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. During the clock on Sunday morning, we'd be here putting water on top of the kerosene heater. Oh, yeah. And then we had an outhouse type bathroom over there. We'd be pouring bleach and trying to clean up that smell. You had to climb down in the hole in the front of it, and it was like about this deep, and then climb, pull up, and get in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And then the toilet was top of this wood thing, so you climbed there <laughs> to go to bed. Memory, memory. And people laughed and said, this is crazy. This is ridiculous. See, that wall wasn't there. You could, and it had these thin pieces of wood. What do they call it, Wim? Yeah. Slack? Yeah, slack, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what, so yeah. you could sit on the toilet and see the surface. Mm -hmm. Wow. I got it. And they laughed and they talked about us. Nobody came and said, here's a piece of nail, but they told us what was wrong. Mm -hmm. On the back side. Back side. Yeah. Yeah. On the back side. Back side. So finally Samuel says, now no God called me here. Uh -huh. I ain't crazy. Jesse, you got any more juice? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And Jesse goes, Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> My God. Jesse. David, I ain't seen him in a few months. He, oh, Jesse. You know, he loves being out in the, he don't come in much. <laughs> you know. I ain't seen him in a while, you know. He said, Get him. He said, he can't. See, you don't understand, Samuel. He the youngest. See, watch out when people say it ain't. Uh -huh. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. The word says, with man it is impossible. Mm -hmm. We God. were told God. by our bishop, he was too church of God in Christ, and I was too educated and sophisticated to ever want to mention yeah. Mm -hmm. To our faith, and we were serving him, standing yeah. in the rain, yeah. soaking wet, waiting for him and his family to arrive. And he'd get out the car and say, I'll need you to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I remember one time, 450 seat sanctuary, everybody in there shouting. Ellis in the bathroom, because the kid that jumped up on the sink and busted in front of the wall. Yeah, yeah. Water like a, a waterfall. Yeah, yeah. Everybody jump, all the men in there jumping and shouting oh, to yeah. impress the bishop. He in there, suit soaking wet, water up to his ankles, mm -hmm. trying to stop the water. But God is watching, yeah. see? Yeah. Yes, he is. God is watching. Yeah. Oh, so Ellis is taking care of my house. Mm -hmm. Interest. Every night, Ellis, a one-armed man and his son, built the 450 c sanctuary and the pulpit and laid the carpet. All the men would be there while the bishop was there. Mm -hmm. And when the bishop left, they left. Mm -hmm. 
after a while, everybody was dressing like the bishop, talking like the bishop, shouting like the bishop. See, that's what you'll do when you're trying to get, in he get ahead based on impressing people. Ah, right. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the cold, work all day and on cement all night. Ellis, a one-armed man, and his son, and never got a thank you. And the band played on. He too church God in Christ. I'm too sophisticated and educated. See, because what he thought you had to be to be a leader, God didn't think. God saw leadership in the bathroom. Uh -huh. With the water going every which way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God went in the sanctuary with them shouting. He was in that bathroom with him all by himself, yeah. trying to shut that water off and move, get that pipe and sink fixed. Mm -hmm. And ruin his suit. Ruin his shoes. I'm not trying to lift him up. I'm trying to tell you the keys to success. Yeah. You got to go through the Backside. Y'all kind of slow. Backside. Backside. Did you come in on the yellow bus tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it hurts because most of you aborted the process because when God put you on the backside, you didn't like it. Yeah, all right, all right. It feel good. Yeah. So you aborted God's process. Because until you go through, yeah. you ain't coming out. Right. You stuck in constipation on the spiritual world. Oh, yeah. And ain't no laxative to get you out. <laughs> so somebody goes and gets David. And the instant the Bible said that Samuel looks at him, he said, That's the one. That's the one. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. But get this, he anoints David. You'll be anointed before people ever know you. Uh -huh. yeah. I was doing what I was doing over there in that church while the bishop was saying I wasn't a, started a school. There it is. Uh -huh. Went to private school as a child. Now I'm helping start a school uh -huh. with somebody else. Until you so faithfully into somebody else's vision yeah. come hell or high water. Your vision is constipated. Oh. Jesus. He anoints David in secret. <coughs> Ain't no crowd or nothing. And guess where David goes? Back in the woods. He's anointed for what's coming. Uh -huh. Yeah. But he ain't finished the process. Yet. All right, all right, all right, all right, now. All right. Saul is still king. He ain't gonna, God ain't gonna move Saul. Uh -huh. Saul gonna move Saul. Uh -huh. Until you complete your course of study called backside, you can't go to the next semester. All right, all right. Because God knows if you love him, You'll obey him. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. We got too much of in the body of Christ of people that want titles, they want recognition, yeah. they want attention. Mm -hmm. And when they don't do it, they'll move to the next spot till somebody say, Oh, I'll make you this oh, and Lord. I'll make you that. Oh, yeah. You know what I believe in? God forgive me if I'm wrong, but I've seen too much. I believe that 80 to 90 percent of the people carrying titles in the body of Christ should have never been had. Uh, uh, Y'all ain't got me. Uh, I'm bold on by myself. Because if if they weren't supposed to be there, why they do the crud they do? Uh, yeah. Why we got children running around churches looking like the pastor? Oh, how dare you be a pastor and have a girlfriend you laying up with? Oh, and right, another, right. you got a different oh, cell phone for the four or five others, and you got a cell phone. How dare you? Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh, 
married and committing adultery all over the place. Yeah. Oh Shouldn't have had the title because you see, unless you've been anointed mm -hmm. by God first, before they anointed you and whatever whatever church you were in, you ain't called to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. What did you say, Pastor? No, that's right. No, you ain't called. No. You out of position. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. You out of position. I'm bold enough to say, because yeah. I love the sheep, yeah. and the sheep are being gimmicked and lied to yeah. and mistreated yeah. and led astray yeah. by pastors that should have never been pastors, evangelists that should have never been evangelists. Yeah. That pastor right there can tell you. That bishop can tell you. On the backside, it'll make you or it'll break you. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And that's why most of, of the leaders don't go through the process. Especially younger ones, they got a degree, so now they're going to pass. Mm -hmm. Remember the prophet that came to town here? And everybody, maybe some of y'all, we told our church don't go, but some went anyhow. Mm -hmm. He was a prophet from here. Oh, Mondale or whatever yeah, his name I'm was. Told God on the radio said, if your pastor tell you not to come to this revival, he are the devil yeah, yeah, and, and yeah, they don't yeah, know the yeah, new move of yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. send a taxi to bring you over. People were packing out the church so much. See, we can't get it packed here because we preach true. But yeah. preach a lie uh -huh. and tell people they're going to get some yeah. money uh -huh. and a car and a house yeah. and you can pack it out. Marriages broke up. Yeah. Women got molested and raped. Yeah. He broke up the pastor of that church pulpit. They had a swimming pool one night. He put holy oil in and had people jumping and sliding through it. Pastors were there by the umpteen. Yeah. You tell the truth, Pastor. Little BG, the pastor said, I don't want you over there. Don't Amen. listen to him on the radio. This is not a God. Yes. Yeah. He said, bring your tithes along with your orange to me. And Christians ran by the hundred. I remember one day a lady got on the radio. She said, my pastor told me not to come prophet my mail, but I'll be there again tonight. Anybody that tell you different than your leaders tell you is operating in a demonic spirit. And let me say this, you don't tie when you get ready. You don't wait for God to tell you the time. He already told you. Bring all your time. He already told you. Then you wonder why your money funny? How many times you see I'm bold? I don't care no more about pleasing people. I want you to be blessed, but I'm gonna please God first. You stole from God. Well, well, it was just no. You stole. That's what the word said. You robbed God. Now you got. Yeah. And see the devil know hell coming. Uh -huh. The yeah, devil yeah. know he, he has spirit. He know it. He know. Uh -huh. So he set you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Come on. Yeah. Didn't we read how he went to God on Job? Yeah. You don't think he go to God on you? Come on, man. Uh, yeah. Give me penny. I don't want to see nobody's name. Uh -huh. I don't want y'all make me feel like a oh, pastor was preaching on me. Well, if the shoe fed well, yeah. 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 if it's your chicken yeah. bone, eat it. <laughs> <laughs> they sister duty wop over there didn't pay her time. Uh -huh. Thank you. Now they're getting ready to take our house 
and the lights is turned on, and she calling the church. Uh huh. Yeah. But the rule around here is, you ain't a faithful child. That I right. can pray for you, That's but it. I'm not giving you money, money, money. Right. Amen. 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 And if you're not a member, we'll pray. Amen. That's about it. Uh -huh. So they can tell you how many times people call for money. Uh -huh. And what you tell them? You got to be a faithful member. One lady told me one time, well, how do I join? Pastor, <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 I'm anointed. You're anointed for what? Because see, David didn't do that. Amen. He got the oil, he got the prayer, and he went around his assignment. That's right. He didn't look for no accolades. Well, I'm anointed for king. Let me go down here and sit in Saul's seat. Amen. There's a time and place. That's right. Amen. But you got to live on the Yes, Y'all getting a little fast. I know it's hard to swallow. Go like this. Everybody, go like this. Come on. Now say backside. Backside. I got to live. I got, I got to live. live. For a while. For a while. On the backside. On the backside. Because God. Because God. Got to circumcise. Got to circumcise. Some things. Some things. Off of me. Off of me. Carry 
I seen the heater right there. These cha those chairs. Mm -hmm. The outhouse bathroom. The laughing and talking about the putting down. Uh -huh. Where were you? Where were you when the school had shag orange shag carpet and it was put down with duct tape? Mm -hmm. And it was a kerosene heater back there. Mm -hmm. Where were you when missionary would bring her wick? to feed the children. That's right. Oh, yeah. We would dig in the sofa, and I would bring only food we had to feed the kids for lunch. We only had 10 at the most. So whatever money we got, we had to spread it. OK, who got a, who got a turn off notice? Yeah. She would come with no socks or nothing on her feet and caught hell as her kids started growing up. They'd appreciate the backside. Mm -hmm. And would blame me, or oh, you just falling behind pasta. Sure am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when Deacon Riddick bought that house for her for a wedding gift, I said, boy, the backside sure didn't mm -hmm. right. right. And when she was single on Section 8, ended up getting a house with everything, flat screen TVs, vacuum cleaner, even a barbecue grill on the deck, washer and dryer, three bedrooms, wasn't it? Yes, ma'am. And two baths on Section 8. And that the people had put it, just put it on Section 8 because they moved to Texas. House was like it was just built. Yeah. How did that happen? You better start waking up to God's way. It's not your way. Amen. So step one to defeating the giant, and we're going to close with this, and we'll pick up on this Sunday. David was anointed by Samuel before he faced Goliath. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. Right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Before anybody knew, he was anointed to be king. Samuel had sealed that thing, boy. Uh -huh. And when he went out there, that boy was talking oh, right. bite. Yeah, he was. Yes. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Uh-huh. This sucker. Who is this sucker? <laughs> Yeah. Say, Kevin, can you imagine? Because the Israelites were tiny people. Can you imagine him standing before a giant? Mm. And he talking smack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 he called him an uncircumcised <laughs> That you would come before the people and the army. And that's where people are going to be. When you in the backside and going up, don't expect, he was out there by himself. The king was in the castle. King going to be slick. Here, you can have my sword. You can have my shield. And David, that can't. Ain't too happy. Can you imagine how the people, he going to die today? <laughs> David talking about, I got a bag with five stones. Yeah, come on now. And I got my slingshot. Maybe how he killed the lion and the bear. Uh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. And he know. pimped out there. Yeah. <laughs> who do? Yeah. Who, 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 who? Yeah, yeah. And he told him, I'm going to cut off your head. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. I'm going to cut off your head, bro. <laughs> yeah, he did. Your buddy's mine today. <laughs> Can you imagine all them soldiers back then? They said, somebody, you know what some of them said? Pray for David because he can make you know. But that's a brave little boy. Yeah. God bless his heart. Yeah. That's right. Are you going out there to help me? No, <laughs> but David had been anointed. Yes, amen. Yeah. David had been anointed. Yeah. 
That statement, coming off the backside, that's it. Mm -hmm. it's first it's time backside. coming off the that's backside, it. is will you stand against the giant? Yes. Yes.
wouldn't dare close out but without inviting you to get to know him right at this moment. Your life can change on a dime when Jesus is in your life. So just repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I believe Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God. You are the Son of God. I repent. I repent. I am sorry. I am sorry for my sinful ways. For my sinful ways. Come into my heart. Come Lord. into my heart, Lord. Be Lord over my life. Be Lord over my life. Now, wherever you are, go find somebody. If ain't nobody to yell at the TV, yell at the computer, I'm saved! I'm saved! I'm saved! I'm saved! Now, congratulations. You can ever do in your home. Your whole life is going to change now. Yeah. Minute by minute, day by day, yeah. hour by hour, everything's going to flip now. Thank you keep Lord. celebrating. Look, we are bringing God's word to life. Can't yeah. you see yeah. that's what we're doing? Yeah. We're at 4823 Bryce Lane for a minute yeah. in Richmond, Virginia. 232-7180. On Facebook, we are BG Church. Come on, drop us a comment. Come on by the Lord's house. It's going to rain. Amen. Amen. Give us a line. Drop us a line. If you'd like to make a donation. If you do not have a home church, you may send your tithes since you're getting fed from us. We will recommend we'll find you a home church if you're not in the Richmond, Chesterfield, Chester area. We'll find you a church. You yes. need a pastor. You need a home church. Yes, okay. In the meantime, you can send your tithes. All the rest of you, come on, give an offering. Yeah. Give and it shall yes, be okay. given. Thank you. Come on Thank you. now. Yeah. You got a good word tonight. You ought to be encouraged and built up. So Hallelujah. come on and give. You can go on securegive.com. Yeah. That's securegive. Dot com. Thank you, Lord. And you'll find us at the top of the list. Yes. Bringing God's word to life. Make a donation. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We're praying for you. God's peace be yeah. multiplied yeah. to yeah. you in Jesus' name. Have a blessed, Hallelujah. amazing week.